Okay, what we're going to try to do today is we're going to try to uh, show you how to build a truck. Uh, these are just various types of trucks that I have built over the, over the years. I have uh, taken a lot of these to craft fairs and uh, had not done all that well uh, because you can't really uh, get what you put into these. I got a lot of time put into this and not many people want to pay uh, 5 or $10 for uh, a wooden truck. So I kind of gave up on the idea, but since then I've built a lot of trucks. And I uh, thought what I'd do now is just to show people how to build trucks instead. So these are all my own designs. And what I have is a pattern. I have a lot of different designs. Uh, these are all my own designs. And once I come up with a design, I put together a pattern. So I always have it. Either a piece of 2x4 or 2x3. In this case, a 2x4. And I try to find the best uh, piece of wood here. This looks like a good spot right here. And I just kind of line this all up like that, if you can see it, and looks good like that. And then I just kind of mark it off like this. So your first truck, basically, you're just going to have to come up with a design, however you want it. So I think that looks good right there. Okay, now in the next step, we have to trim it down. So, um, what we're going to do is we're just going to take this one piece here off because I took the best side for the front of the truck. So, we line that up there. Find the spot. Okay, now we're going to clean this up. On this next step, we got to put the uh, put the wheels on. I'm sorry, we have to uh, drill the holes for the wheels. So this is basically wherever you want to put them, uh, wherever you think would look good. You know that might look good. Well, however you want to put them on doesn't not really matter. So so I just find what looks good to me, and uh, take a pencil and I kind of just mark them where I might like to have the wheels. So I kind of like that right there. And I'll just kind of put a mark it right there, so and a mark right there, me and the kind of go with that. Of and I'm happy with that. So that's it. So then all you have to do is you have to drill the holes uh, straight down through. Do so we do that with this, and just well. kind of I just eyeball it. That's all I'm doing. <laughs> Kind of go easy down through. Back. Good. Same thing on the other side. Kind of go out and easy down. Hold my corn prayer to you. Okay, so now what we need to do, uh, we got the. Uh, uh, the holes for the axles. Now we need to set up the holes for the lights. And I think I might even put a light on top of this truck here. Uh, maybe someday this could be turned into a little plow truck or something. So uh, we're going to be doing this to them. Put the pegs on there as well. So uh, basically to do that, I just move this out of the way. And I'll just take a couple of pieces of wood. Set that up so I can get my right height. Powered up, and you basically you have to just eyeball this. You can measure it if you want. I'm just going to kind of eyeball it. And I think I'll put one right there. I'm going to go in about oh, maybe half an inch or so. I'm going to line it up. That looks pretty good. Do the same thing. That looks okay. Do the same thing with the tail lights. Yeah. Oh, let's 
so so we have so we have our axle holes, our uh, taillights, our headlights, and a little uh, caution light on the top. Okay, so now we need to make uh, the taillights and the uh, caution light. So I got this little jig here set up, and these are too long for the headlights. So all I do is I I uh, plug them in here. Uh, basically, I just took a piece of wood and drilled a bunch of holes in it so I could get the right length that I wanted to, and then. Uh, uh, this can get a little dangerous if you're not careful. You uh, these little pigs can sometimes fly on. So, let's turn this on. Okay, and there they are. So now they're all the right length for my, for my tail lights and my caution light. Okay, now I guess this would be the final step, is we got a truck, uh, one popsicle stick, four wheels, we have four pegs, and then we have five short pegs, headlights and um, the uh, caution light. So what I like to do is get the uh, headlights and the taillights out of the way first. So if you're building something like this for your kids and grandchildren, um, I like to try to use a little glue. So what you do is put a little glue there, there, a little bit there, there. So like that. Kind of push those in like this. Like that. Same thing over here. Like this. Oh, I forgot the top one there. Like that. Like this. Take your heavy duty hammer. popsicle stick is when you put your wheel on when you hammer it in you don't hammer it so tight that the wheel will not spin so I like to use a popsicle stick you can use a butter knife a plastic knife or, or whatever so again uh, we put a little glue on sections here Side. Do the same thing on the other side. Most important prayer to you is when we do fail. Now I have no comments or anything like that on this because I don't want some master wood worker telling me that I'm doing it the wrong way because I really don't care. Guide us in everything. He's probably thinking right now, no, they make a machine. That does that. I want us to do and they are a little tight because you don't want them to come out. For every little detail. Over here. And they do the same thing. For every little detail. Yeah, go a little bit over here. For every little detail. Okay. So there it is. For every one wooden truck. 